All right, let's see what we can upgrade this time. We got 1,234. We could get better range for our ballista. All mortars gain plus five range. That could be actually huge. Mortars permanently gain plus one to health. Plus one to armor. Poison sprayers could be could be a good option. All flamethrowers deal an extra 50% burn damage. Burn damage deals damage over time, which is particularly effective against monsters armor. The so burn is for armor. What uh, poison is for what? Shields? Yeah, great against shields. The poison shields burns armor and bleed as hell. Good to know. Spots enemies and adds this tower's stats to all dam to all damage the marked target takes. Anybody know if lookouts are worth it? We can make mines better. Decreases enemies' maximum haste by 20%. Obelisks. What are obelisks? Uses mana to create a concentrated beam of destruction. Ooh, I like the sound of that. All radars gain an additional range. I think I'm going to upgrade the radars. I really like them. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know if I want to get the extra plus right here. Because it's only plus one multiplier. Um... Obelisk is tempting just to unlock it. And then we could get all these cheap ones. All right, I'm thinking we unlock the obelisk and the poison and get the, the cheap upgrades at least. Oh, here we go. University and Haunted House. When placed next to the occult shrine, this building can be used to fund research into lost knowledge, giving global bonuses. And, okay, let's get those. Max bleed per second, burn per second, and poison per second up by plus 40. Increases the tower's repair chance to between I mean, 0 to 66, depending on tower health. Increase tower's health. Generates additional mana at the tower. Start with more gold. I'm not worried about that. All right. I spent more than I meant to. So let's start with the, the sprayer, I think. We don't have a way of doing poison damage reliably. Ores. All poison spheres deal an extra 50% poison damage. Poison deals damage over time. Okay, I'll... Ooh, I did not... I shouldn't have done three. Oh, well. We have, what, 159? I wanted to unlock the obelisk. You got what, 59 points, eh? Watch your step. Increase enemy max haste by 20%. Okay. Lowering the people down is good. All right. We should have, we should, a long time ago, we should have invested a lot more into having recycling one, not just be about shipping it off to other countries, which is pretty much all it does now, but actual proper, like breaking things down and being able to get something out of it again. Like, I was reading a paper the other day and I, I, only, I only scammed like the first little bit of it, but it was talking about a new way of breaking down anything that's made from paper and woods. Usually the problem with recycling paper and woods, eventually the 
the polymers get so short it's hard to make decent paper out of it again but there's apparently there's some new process i guess a chemical and electrolysis type thing that helps the 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 fibers the the, the polymers and everything that makes paper paper helps them reconnect to each other so that you can remake like you can grind it up into the smallest bits and then you put it through this process and it can make it makes it a lot more recyclable um being able to have a way of breaking down plastics the big thing is the different there's so many different types of plastics but being able to break down plastics and making new filaments so that they can be reused and made into more things again is something we we should have invested a lot more in Unfortunately, it's not like it's in city skylines or something like that where you make a recycling plant and you get like no garbage is left over. It's just, it's gone. It's back. All right. I think we'll do one more run of Rogue Tower. And let's try a two way. We haven't done a lot of two ways. Also, uh, uh, Ivan M0912. Is this like April Fool's joke? Like a big. No, no April Fool's joke that I know of. If you're wondering about what, what, like, what we're talking about, or it being my birthday, or anything like that. All right. Um. Let's get you there. And we'll start with that as our initial. All right. Poison Square, Mana Siphon, and Banditry. We used up all our gold already? That doesn't feel right. I thought we had a whole bunch of... like it, I didn't spend all... Oh, maybe I did. It's already up to 414. Okay, maybe I just wasn't paying enough attention. Use mana to spray enemies with poison. I want that, but that means we need siphons first. No, we don't have enough. All right, expand this way. Okay. I do love the blades. I do love the tower. Towers, are, these are too expensive to get. Let's go better blue. No, get these guys. Here we go. But we need to get the mana coming in first more shield all poison sprayers gain plus 50 percent poison odd that i'm getting mortar upgrades but they haven't given me mortar yet oh wait no that is the power okay i'm an idiot that is the mortar not the upgrade i totally missed read that I think I was kind of reading one of these over here, one of the other upgrades and it at the same time. All right, um, yeah, I'll take a mortar. I like mortars. I kind of feel like you should be able to upgrade, like expand each side before the, the wave starts. I'm nervous. We made it. Okay, extra shield, get the Tesla coil, max health, generate 1% of your mana into mana per second, and I think I'll go spores. They're 300, nice, they're expensive. I haven't done the airport yet. I was actually thinking of maybe doing City Skylines next. I love City. My, my new favorite thing in City Skylines is the, the road signs. I got with the DLC that lets you do, uh, go to the intersection and put the road light lines in. It's so therapeutic. Awesome. All right. Uh, uses man to communicate with the dead to get Oh. For some reason, I thought that was generate mana, not 
generate money. Not that we have any nearby, but whatever. But yeah, I, I haven't done much with the anything with the airports DLC yet. Uh, I'm starting to learn like the ins and outs of the industry. Industry, the new industry DLC. Oh, well, it's not new, but the industry DLC it lets you make so much money. Take, like at first it's uh you lose money on it but it quickly goes to making like crazy money launches increases max bleed zero for free one Thanks, dude. um i guess i want a mortar on this side as well Armor. It seems to me though, like what I've seen with the airlines, it seems like it needs, they really need to do a, either a, a mass, like a, a overhaul to the way the, the system runs all together to make it more efficient on bigger cities and fix some of the base problems with the game. Uh, or just make City Skylines 2. But they're, they're known for milking their games for a long time with expensive DLCs. Uh, leading enemies take a uh, Armor. It would, having more armor damage might not be bad. I don't got the money for shredders, so let's go. Hundred. Don't have enough for anything right now. I guess mana, but we don't need the mana yet. Ooh, I like that these are sharing area, but there's like all lowlands. Uh, but back to the DLC. Being able to set up the air, like getting the airport to grow, is a bit of an issue right now. Like it takes a lot to get it to grow. And you, like you need to beautify it up, which seems to be mostly just throw a bunch of ugly looking hotels on it We'll use mana twice as efficiently. So halving mana cost. All right, these make money, but we don't have the undead yet We have 500 we could get a poison sprayer. But poison's more shields. I think I'm going to have to go. I feel like the cost of buildings goes up so much faster now. Than the last time I played. City Skylines 2 needs a lot for multiple cities like how since City. Yeah. You wanna know what I want from SimCity, the, the last SimCity game? The way that you can upgrade and expand buildings. I want that back in a big way. I wanna be able to put down a school and then add buildings and wings to it, or put down a single piece that says a park and add a whole bunch of other pieces, but it still counts as one park. Mind you, I haven't played since I download I bought the, the, the parks DLC. It was City Skyline stuff was on sale last week, so I got all I got almost everything I was missing except for a few things that I think I don't I didn't want in general. But uh I want to see them add more options for sidewalks and pathing. Like as it is right now it it tries to fit paths for like pedestrian paths behind the cities as though they're a full a full tile and really they should be able to they should be able to follow Paths for like pedestrian paths, if you're not doing bicycles on that. Like I understand if you're doing bicycles, going bigger, but it should be able to treat, the grid should be able to realize like, oh, paths and maybe bicycle paths even are like half the normal size. And then that way you could put like, if you have two houses together and you want a path, you could say, put a path between these houses and it follows the, from vertex to vertex rather than as a whole tile. And then it just animates a little bit between it as a little path. Cause there's no reason to have to like break down half of a house if you have a two by two house 
and you want to put a path in between it one of the like beside it you're losing that house if there's a house beside it you know like one of the houses will lose but i don't know i like it i want i want the option having a big map where you can do multiple cities on a single map would be great they gotta figure if they could do like i keep saying this for so many games have like a factorio style where it's like a near infinite size map potentially you pick a spot where you build a city and then you're doing your city there and it's just simplifies simplifies any simulation for what you're not where you're not viewing but if someone else if it's say it's a multiplayer map or if even you want to you could go somewhere else build a second city and they are separate cities they have their own money their own and everything to deal with but then they could interact with each other with like like you're saying where people working in one city and living in another like the multiple city part of the the sim city game was really good the thing I liked the most was the upgrading. I could put a school down and then I could expand the school with extra floors or an extra wing. Or you, you start with like a basic police department and then you add extra, you buy extra spots to have more cars because you ends up the first four, four police cars wasn't enough. You have room for another eight. Expand your parking lot, buy those extra cars. You know, things like that. Being able to upgrade and expand the buildings that are there. City Skylines needs that. It could be, first off, if they optimize the simulation, right now the big problem with the game and its limitations is, is the way it was built with, it was made with Unity, first off, which isn't a bad thing necessarily, but they could definitely do better with a better engine or just more optimized engine, at least. But having it set up so it could handle more props, more like handle more units of things. It, a lot of people are getting cities where they can't expand the city anymore because they're just not allowed to have any more roads or any more buildings. So being able to increase it that way. They should really, they should do, with, with the new updates that Unity has come with since, ooh, that hurt. Since the game was launched, they should really come up with a, Unreal, I think, would be cool. Unreal Engine 5 has got, like, especially with the detail you could get with the new, uh, what is it, Nano or whatever, where you could get, like, that insane detail. So if you go close, you get, like, this amazing detail. And as you zoom out, it gets less and less. I think Unreal Engine 5 would be an amazing one for City Skylines 2. But for City Skylines 1, them doing an engine overhaul where it's a free update, they'll have it run, like, remember when Factorio, I don't know if you played Factorio, but when Factorio first came out, a lot of people started having these mega factories and you'd have these factories and you, they're kind of normal now, but they'd run at like super low up. Like it, it'd be, your factory would be so complex that the, it'd slow the game simulation and render and update speeds. So you, even if you're getting like uh, um, 60 frames per second, the simulation might be only running at like 10. And they got it so optimized that now they ended up just getting it it's like you almost never go down like you have to have a, a, a factory that's like 50 to 100 times bigger than what the old mega factories were and you're still getting like 60 yeah they got they got it running at 500 people on a server at one point they, 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 they optimized it so efficiently if they could do if they could take a set a team to take all the new advancements that unity has to make the game run even better optimize and everything and get and get it city skylines one running super sweetly with all the new be bells and whistles that the latest version of unity allows it'd be a really nice update i don't know what i want to get attacks against bleeding enemies have increased crit shield let's do some burn i was going to go for the increased burn but let's start yeah no let's get the ah, let's go for this got enough for a sprayer I don't want to, mm, I don't know what kind of range it's gonna have if I put it here which is a little bit and poison's good against shields 
and health. I feel like some of these things that you get by card... Poison's blue? Huh. I guess it makes sense. You wouldn't see it if it was green because of the ground. I think I didn't go for snow and I didn't go for natural disasters. Although I've been told that I might need to get natural disasters because there's some things that police and fire won't go to unless you have the natural disasters helicopter for putting out fires with like the park DLC. Extra. I want to increase the burning, but having all. All burning guys take more damage in general seems really good. Yeah, actually, if we look at City Skylines real quick, I, th I think it's just... There's an update for Vampire Survivors? That can't be right. Oh, no, it's that it didn't sync with the Steam Cloud. Factorio had the update. Okay. I was going to be like, what? Another update already? City Skylines. Yeah, I don't, I didn't, apparently I didn't buy airports. I thought I did. I could have swore I bought airports. Weird. I ended up getting some of the content creator pack stuff for cool looking stuff. I, I don't know if I'm going to buy a snowfall or disasters. If Snowfall actually had it where you would have a seasonal cycle to your city, I would. But the fact that it's you have to start a snow map and it's always snow. That has me not loving it. But, uh... Alright, we got 500. That would be enough for one more mortar. Armor, then health. I did grab the, the, the campus one. On, like, City, or Sim City, the Sim City game got a lot of hate. I actually really liked it. Like I said, I liked having cities that interacted with each other. I liked having, like, there was a one, th uh, my friend and I were playing a game where we were each running a city on a map. Like, we had, like, three of us playing on that thing. It was great. Bleeding enemies take extra health damage. Attacks against bleedings have increased crit. All ballistas get extra range. That could be handy. got a lot of hate for that imagine that a few years later and then lots of games are doing that my big thing is i want to see them get away from grid cities like in city skylines 2 i want to have it if i do a curved road i want the game to be smart enough where i can kind of like change this like those grids kind of splay them out and whether or not a building can be built on that grid should be whether or not the actual building part fits within the area that happens, right? Just like, look at, I wanted to get weird buildings like in New York where you have that like triangle shaped one that's really famous that in the Spider-Man 2, like the the old Spider-Man movies was the, the Daily Bugle, I think. 
just making a curved road shouldn't end up having you lots of empty space in your city. There's no reason that the grid couldn't kind of be dynamic, right? It could even make it so that some of the buildings are a little bit more dynamic in general. I'm going to go for Shredder, I think. Although, bleeding is tempting. And I can put one Shredder in. Things are so expensive. Alright, just progress is... Let's go back to actually playing a game. Got a run to finish. I don't think we're going to do too good. We're not making enough money. I'm so excited. We seem to be doing a little bit better, but at the same time, that's a lot coming in on the other side that we don't have anything set up to handle. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten mines yet. I feel like the things, the mana siphon and the, the mine, like these are things you should have. Waiting to unlock everything through a card after each round. Especially as you get more things, it makes it less and less likely that you're actually going to have what you need. All mortars get more shield, increase maximum poison. We need more mana because we keep running out. I was hoping that would turn as well. I wish the poison was all on one side, not just the far side. All poison sprayers gain more damage against Plus three to armor for the Ballista. Poison enemies take an extra plus one shield damage from all attacks. Uh, that might be the way to go. Oh wait, no, more money. Banditry, boom. Uh, we almost got enough for another mortar. We're one dollar shy of getting another poison sprayer. But then we might need more mana, so gotta be careful with that. bad. Well, that did not go so well. Oogies should not be instant death. It should be like 
if, if he has two bars and you got one down and it should only be half you know what i mean like his whole if like for each bar it would be like a percentage so if he has four bars it's it's each one you get is 25 percent less damage or something like hey mister thank you so much really appreciate that so apparently double roads are just way too hard Oh man, my water's almost out. 